Canadian coach. He is also the top male coach of 2014. And we can't forget this, number 11 in the company for 2014. Everybody give a warm DC welcome to Miguel Carrasco. That's some serious music. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Is that good? How's everybody? Carl's parents are here. How's everybody doing? All right. Man, I am so fired up. I want to talk to you today about three big things that I think will change your life because they change other people's lives. See, I believe that you can learn anything you want right now. We live in an age where you can Google just about anything. You can YouTube just about anything and get thousands, not just one, but thousands and thousands of videos on any specific topic with video screen captured. So the learning element of what to do is not that hard. The hard part is your mind. It's your mindset. Shifting your mindset to actually do what you know you should do. That is the trick. Today I want to start off talk to you about this incredible person, Dr. Martin Luther King. Anybody know who that is? <laughs> okay, so this person decides one day that he wants to change the world. He wakes up, he decides that things are not fair. That we've made a lot of progress, but we can make the world a better place. He starts the civil rights movement, but fails. You never hear about it, but fails and fails. Leads marches, Albany, fails. Pretty much his career was almost done and then decides that he's gonna lead a march to Washington, D.C. Where the Abraham Lincoln Memorial is. They were standing around, thinking about all these incredible things that must have happened in this specific location. And he spends his entire year planning and planning this incredible event. 12 hours before, thousands and thousands of people start making their way he has no speech planned. He doesn't know what he's gonna say. And he starts drafting this incredible speech with the help of someone. And when he gets up on stage and he gets onto the podium, a quarter million people, a quarter million people almost, out there. And he decides he's gonna scrap his speech. And he starts speaking from the heart. The I have a dream speech, not the I have a plan speech. <laughs> the I have a dream that one day, that speech, the I have a dream part, he came up with that on that podium, that moment. It was going to be called the blank check speech. He says it a couple times, but after that, this becomes the greatest speech in history. If you study public speaking, this is an incredible moment. He becomes one of the greatest orators, the greatest orators in American history. He's awarded medals, changes the world, ends up dying for his life, for his cause of what he believes in. You, sitting on your comfy couch, posting something on Facebook, Hoping someone will like it and keep hitting refresh. <laughs> yes, a comment. Hey mom, go like my Facebook. <laughs> That's freaking easy to do. Get some perspective of what is hard and what is easy. I think we live in a society where we forget these things. They are still here. They are here within you. And it's up to you to let their light shine. I love you guys. It was an awesome journey experience.